guys, it's me. Uh, my friend Amy had requested something with red uh, because she now owns uh, eyeshadow in Siren, which you can find on the Lime Crime website. It's a really, really pretty red. It's like really opaque and kind of shimmery and it goes on really nicely. Um, but Amy has fair skin and red hair and um, it sometimes can be kind of hard to wear red eyeshadow when you have fair skin and red hair, so I thought that I would post a tutorial for a look that was um, red with black-ish, sort of, like a smoky red eye, um, just to give her an idea of how to, what to use her um, red eyeshadow with. Um, the one I have is not the same as hers, but it's pretty much, it's very similar in color and you can use any red eyeshadow you, that you find. Uh, I think Urban Decay has one that's called Gash that's really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, so hopefully this gives Amy some ideas and everybody else some ideas. Here it is. Okay. So number one, you would want to put flammable paint by MAC all over your eyelid. This I'm putting on top of my Too Faced um, shadow insurance. If you don't have flammable, you could probably use any cream, like red cream eyeshadow. Um, or you can probably even use like a red eyeliner, like just color it all over your lid. Um, but you just want like a red base just to keep your red eyeshadow a true red that on. You can just get a little bit of um, your red color on. I'm applying this with a damp brush, but you don't have to. I'm just using a damp brush because it's more vibrant. Um, I'm using Fiorinet's Bite Me, um, which is in one of their professional colors lines. Um, and that just goes on just all over the lid. I'm putting Beauty Marked Wet just on the outer corner. Beauty Marked is like a black with red sparkles. It looks really good with red colors like this. And then you kind of have something that looks super messy like that. You would take your 224 brush like that, um, just putting a little extra beauty mark on it, and blend it out and up over the crease. Uh, next I'm going to take my 272 brush, which is that one, has a little angle on it, and use Agate Eyeshadow uh, by MAC in the crease. Agate was limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore, but it's essentially, it looks a lot like Beauty Marked, it's just that uh, it has a reddish base as opposed to a black base, so it's like a, like a dark reddish uh, eyeshadow with red sparkles. Okay, so once you have a giant raccoon eye like that, you would want to take your highlight color, which I'm using Max Rose Pigment, um, and just brush it onto your brow bone like that. blending down your crease color a little bit. You would take your black liquid eyeliner And just draw a thin line on your top lid. <laughs> uh, 
add mascara. By the way, don't buy the Revlon Double Twist mascara. I changed my mind. I don't like it anymore. Look at the brush. It's all like clumpy and gross. For under the lower lid, uh, you would put any kind of black eyeliner. Uh, I'm using Max Soft Sparkle Eye Pencil in Night Sky, which is like a black with silver sparkles. Uh, and you do the same on the other eye. Sorry, dudes. Underneath, I'm going to use Furinay's eyeshadow in Mirrors, which is a smoky silver color um, with like really nice silvery sparkle. I also am just putting rose pigment in the inner corner here. Okay, uh, so you notice that I didn't put anything red underneath my eye on my lower lid. Um, that's just because if you put your red eyeshadow on top of your eye and under your eye, you look really tired. And you probably don't want to look tired. <laughs> They're redoing our balconies, so there's like an insane amount of construction going on, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear it. Um, for blush, I'm using Skin Finish, Mineralized Skin Finish, in Shooting Star, which I don't think is available anymore, but it's just like a goldy, sparkly color. Um, the reason I'm using something that's gold-based is that the other, like I didn't want to use something peachy-based or red-based because I thought it would be too ruddy. Like I just want to keep all the red just above my eyelids. For lips, I'm using Touch Lipstick. Over Instant Gold Luster Glass. And this is basically your finished look. So, red in the first, I guess, two thirds beauty marked in the outer third and agate in the crease um, with like a smoky gray underneath. Um, again, you want to keep the red mostly here, so not a red blush, not red lips, um, and don't put red underneath your eyes just because then you're going to look super tired, which is not what you want. Um, so yeah, try to keep everything else relatively neutral. That's it. <laughs> Bye guys.